Hellworm, 1,000 residents to 3,000 sheep, an island which functions solely on the green energy it produces itself. What began in the 1980s as a way to try out the first solar panels and wind turbines has become a blueprint for how the rest of Germany might be able to produce green energy once it's phased out the use of nuclear power by 2022. And rather than take the lead from large energy providers, it's local people who have managed the transition. Everything has been thought about, from the protection of birds, to migration, to the egg-laying season. And what I find important is that all parties involved were able to give their opinion, and of course so did residents. Tourism has also been helped from the impact of these new types of energy. Most of the islanders are farmers by trade, but have also begun producing energy themselves. As an incentive to encourage green energy, the German government offers reduced taxes to producers. The island produces three times more energy than is used, and the surplus is sold on. This energy alone is enough to supply the whole island. But sunshine and wind aren't always guaranteed on Pelvorm, which is where biogas comes in. A power plant transforms corn and manure into methane and then into energy. Biogas is Biogas is a very advantageous alternative form of energy. It is a stable power base and you can also store it. While biogas is easy to store, solar power and wind energy are much more difficult to stockpile. That's the next challenge facing this little island that's at the forefront of Germany's green energy efforts.